Good afternoon. Today I want to review the Anglian Windows. As you all know, Anglian is the biggest company in the market and also they state that their product is the best. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna have a look at the window. Here I have a window sample, which is Anglian. If I turn it around, you'll see their mark. So this is the original window sample of their products. As you know, Anglian, they've been established in 1966 and since then they haven't improved their product at all. They say that their product is that good and doesn't need any improvements. Now everything in the market, everything changed. We went from double glazing to triple glazing, slimmer profile, bulkier profiles, but they say their product is that perfect, it doesn't need any changes. It doesn't need any improvements. So that's why I'm here with this sample and I like to compare with our standard windows and their standard windows. So if I look at the profile and if we first count the chambers, you know the chambers, you could count sideways. So you don't count all of them. You just do like this, one, two, three chambers. One, two, three chambers. At the beginning, when I also started selling windows, they were made in three chambers and Anglian windows was the, the same and also they remained three chambers windows. The depth of profile is 70 millimeters and here the depth of the sash also is 70 millimeters. The problem I noticed with this window is that it doesn't have a steel reinforcement. Also, there is no space to have a steel reinforcement. And why that is so important? Because UPVC, with those summers we have, and with the winters we have, UPVC tend to change its, its properties and tend to bend down. And it's very important to have something very strong in the middle. Also, anti-burglary, if you try to force that window to, to uh, smash it open, they say you are not able to. I doubt personally about that. But the main thing about this window is that it doesn't have a gasket on the external. As you can see, I can slide this card in because it does not have a gasket on external. They say they don't have a gasket because in the winter time that gasket can freeze up and then when you try to open the window that gasket is gonna rip off. So they thought it's better not to have a gasket. So they left this space completely empty. Well, I have a big problem with that because don't tell me here is not gonna enter any air, wind, rain, humidity, and everything you, you might want. I had a call from uh, one, uh, one subscriber and they, they asking me, I just replaced my windows uh, with double glazing windows and I can still feel the air coming into my home. I can still see the wind moving my, uh, my curtains and is that normal? and I have asked what kind of windows have you installed? Because if you install those kind of windows, there is no way the humidity and the air wouldn't go through. Here I have the mobile uh, window, which has the frame and the sash, the frame being the fixed part and the sash being the mobile part. Here I have the triple glazing one, they do 36 millimeters as a triple glazing, which is quite good. But I have seen windows which they can get up to 60 millimeters uh, depth of glass. But 36, or should I say, is, is minimum as uh, you could have. 
and here is the fixed window if you ever have a fixed window and also in three chambers and you don't have any more the sash it's just the window uh, the frame and the beading and this is a double glazing one as standard they use the 28 millimeters one now i'm going to turn now just to see the difference with just one of our products and this we call that uh, Rehau Sinego or Rehau 80 millimeters because it does have 80 millimeters depth of frame and if we count the chambers and remember each of them has a roll and if we count the chambers they are one two three four five six seven chambers instead of three and if you count the chambers on the sash also you have one two three four five six seven chambers on the frame six chambers on the sash as a depth you have 80 millimeters and very important you have the rubber on the inside you have that rubber that gasket on the middle but you also have a gasket on the outside what would be the point for me to have that thick window 80 millimeters or or 70 or whatever the depth of frame if my window only insulate from here to here because not having that gasket that means here my window doesn't insulate but will only insulate from here to here so it's very important to have another gasket and uh, also as you may see they come as standard with steel reinforcement why is the reinforcement very important because of course if someone try to break in they won't be able to but if you don't have the steel reinforcement you could easily and i'm not talking now about anglian window specifically but any window which doesn't have a steel reinforcement inside you could easier let's say you could easier just force that open and uh, the upvc is gonna bend and the locking points is gonna come out and you'd be able to open the window and i repeat that is with every casement window which doesn't have a steel reinforcement inside is easier to break in than the one which does have now another very important thing is the glass pack as i said uh, we don't do 36 but we do uh, 40 millimeters we do 42 44 and up to 60 millimeters why is that important because as bigger the gap between the two pieces of glass is as more argon insulation you could have in and that's better the the u value gets and uh, yeah of course there are many types of windows we do as i say from 70 millimeters to 92 millimeters depth of frame and the glass we do from 40 uh, which is minimum for triple glazing and that goes to uh, 60 millimeters now uh, another thing to consider is that when you approach anglian or if you go to their website then they will offer you a scrappage scheme which means they will give you money back about thousand pounds or more if you let them recycling the old windows but what they do with the old windows they have their on-site facility and you can read that on, on their website and they take that windows your old windows and they make new windows for you from that material or for for the next customer because their product is about 80 percent as far as I, I, I know from, from uh, the, the training they gave me, is about 80% all recycled. So all the non-visible material, all of that, that is recycled material. All of that is recycled material. So what is brand new is just the, just the faces. But the middle, the strength of the material, the mass of the material, the bulk of the material, that is from recycled material which uh, obviously is good to recycle but if you recycle uh, uh, bottles of water 
just recycle them into chairs but don't make bottles of water again from that if you recycle upvc windows is a very good thing but don't make upvc windows out of them because they already lost all their properties that upvc already lost all the properties and uh, it would just simply wouldn't do the same job the material we use they all virgin upvc so nothing in this material is recycled and uh, for that reason obviously is uh, is a bit more expensive uh, if you want to recycle your old windows just go and and get them to the nearest recycling center and make sure they they do something else from them they can do chairs they can do pipes they can do something else that's pretty much for today i hope you enjoyed and next time when you make a choice just ask more about your windows just look more carefully and just ask more questions and most important try and see the product and compare the product in our showroom we have about 15 products all different brands you could come you could uh, compare them and you could choose any of them and we would be able to supply and feed any of them whatever you buy but make sure you make an informed decision and make sure you buy the right thing you can't just turn up and say look you try to sell me a black car five seater one with ten thousand pounds but i got a black car five seater with two thousand pounds it's not about that you can't compare a white window with a white window or at least you can't assume they are the same just make an informed decision keep it up <laughs>